Welcome! This is a video tutorial to show you a sample a feature we included in Ludix Kinect Bundle to calibrate two Kinect cameras and watch the results. Okay, so Ludix Kinect Bundle, when the computer has cooked two Kinect cameras, give you a lot of new options. Among those is the one we will be using today. To connect 3D Viewer. It has two features, a 3D Calibrator and 3D Mix Viewer. The 3D Calibrator is used to perform the calibration of two Kinect cameras, as we will be doing now. You have to do, use a checkerboard, put it in front of both Kinect cameras, and when you have good checks, good, uh, a good check chessboard image, detected in both cameras, the images will pause. Now you can save the punch you are retrieved. This is for doing a, a fitting of the positions of the camera among themselves. So we save the points and you get 19 points saved so far. When you reach somewhere between 100 and 110, you've got a good number to perform the calibration. You can change the chessboard uh, width and height here. You can also modify some of the common features in the find chessboard corners uh, function in OpenCV. You can change also the number of frames uh, that two uh, before before the pause of the video when the two cameras detect the chessboard. Okay, so let's continue performing the. We get the new data points. Save data points. Data points. Okay, so we have 111 points saved. Now we can begin the calibration. The calibration, uh, the ransack feed has given us uh, an error, the best error of 1.59. That is a good error, but it's uh, 1.2 is the best we've got so far. You can change the settings here to perform a, a new ransack feed. For example, we'll give it more iterations now. With 100,000 iterations, it gave us a 1.39 error. Now we will be keeping that error. Now we close the calibrator and we open the Mix Viewer. The Mix Viewer has a lot of options. You can view the camera 1, you can view camera 2, and you can calibrate them. That, that's the Mix View of the calibrated camera. You can also change the threshold, the distance threshold of each camera, so you get only the object in the middle. Example over there. And you can zoom in with uh, the mouse wheel, and you can zoom out with the mouse wheel. You can change, and you can rotate, and with the right button you can rotate in the other direction. So. Here we have the cameras calibrated, and as you can see, we have almost a 180 degrees vision with both cameras. Now you can perform, for example, you can perform or you can keep the cloud you have in your image right now, and you can analyze that and continue the feed. You can change the background. You get a little more detail in the, and you can get a little, a little more contrast. And that green is a good color. And you can start a video set. For example, we'll save a video. The video save mode has a maximum a megabytes input. The maximum megabytes input is because we don't want to keep a. 3 gigabytes video uh, or keep it going so we fill all the RAM. 
right now we don't have any compression working so the size of the videos is very big we will be making a different compression algorithm and or using the point clouds library algorithm in the future and then you will be able to save the videos and watch it in a in a viewer now you can play the video that's the video playing as you can see you can pause the video at any moment and you can run through it in each frame you can perform the basic functions you can rotate you can zoom you can rotate to see the subject and as you can see we have a wide angle and you can go back to playing the video or go back to the live video this is the light okay so that's the tutorial for the moment keep tuned for more tutorials on how to use the Dix Kinect bundle have fun